you and welcome to another painting video hopefully this will be the last one it is another question another comment which pretty much i think it is a good point so i would like to address that so as we look at here working with the same image and as you can see we make it we change the colors here but also we change the composition the style the the the, the changes are not much but you can see that we have uh different you now different figures compositions but also can be the case that you can get something entirely different like in this case so how we can force you now to to change the color or change something but keeping the same shape the same style so here's where we talk about control we need to control somehow and probably you get the point here we're going to talk about control net but different techniques to change the the colors here so let's move uh to this uh video tutorial let me show you how to do that so hopefully this will be very very easy so let me reload everything here and we're going to do image to image now we have the same image it's an image generated we generated the image in comfy ui by the way so there is a previous video where i showed this one but it can be an actual photo so basically i want to change the color of the hair so remember that you in this case i want just to change the hair so i need to do some in painting so i will use in paint anything which is fantastic okay so just to remind you how things are done then you know you run segmentation okay and this is going to split this image into different different uh components and luckily we're going to get a good uh, division, subdivision of the whole image. And here you go. So you can select there, here, create mask. Okay, select something there. And there you go. You have your mask. Okay. And then we can go mask only in this case. You get the mask and you can save this mask. Okay. And this mask then you, you use to do the painting. This is just a reminder. Okay. Let me uh, reload here to set the default so let's do it again but now let's work in changing the color of the hair so i'm going here image to image in paint out low out low you put your original image in this case already have here my mask so let me use this mask and there you go so in paint on, on load so you have image to image generation in paint upload and then original image and your mask that we computed using in paint anything and at this point we can just yeah, say uh, uh green hair and i want to remind you use in paint model so you can use the standard model sometimes can give you good results sometimes they are not going to be so good and there you go so we're in painting so this is the standard standard method we change the color but also we change the style it's not respecting too much no the shape so you have something i need to brush here and, and change this style and pretty much will be the same as you choose any model a standard model probably standard models the results are going to be worth so be careful about that here i'm using in painting realistic vision i think it's a very good model it works very well for me so i recommended that but it's up to you to pick out a model there are many many painting models so check previous videos where i give in the description i put different links probably here in the video description i'm going to put that as well so how we can force this to get the same shape okay so this is the task of control net so i already installed i'm not going to show you how to install there is a previous video where we insert control net it is extremely straightforward and automatic 11 11 just go into extension and look for control net and that 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 is all then you need to to download the model so let's enable okay and let me show you what is happening so in control net there are many models okay so in this case by the way we can load multiple control net units at the same time so by default it can it will load three but it's unique to load more you need to change something in settings and that's all well, three for us is, is more than enough so just to go back here in control net Okay, you have the link in the video description. I'm going to put you again, but this is what you have in control net. You have, I would call it filters, not different filters that they do 
a different task. So say that here we have this image and then you get this map. Now similar to the one but that we got with in paint anything, but it's not exactly the same. So you're getting this map where very uh, bright white means closer and black means farther away. Then you have this other uh, filter that you get the normal map and so on so there are many filters and here you can get an idea that now by using these filters we can force the image to follow a shape okay so we have this one candy that is very good i like it a lot but there are many 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 of them so in this case you just look at the for instance for this shape that we have we need to get the contour of the hair and so on so we can use this filter or the canny so it's up to you to pick up different filters. So for instance, here also you have a segmentation one, which is similar to the one that we use uh, segment anything. Okay, but segment, segment anything is way much better. So you can do segmentation also in control net. This one will detect the pose. So very cool, very nice. I like it a lot. So many, many of them. So it's up to you to pick up the one you like to use. And I would like to show you another one that we have here which is very interesting, picks to picks, okay, that we're going to use this one. So there is a lot about this one because also there is a checkpoint just to do picks to picks. So basically this one takes an image and you say you give an instruction and it will basically change the pixels. So it means just pixels. And it's interesting how this model is trained, has been trained, but also how unique to give the instruction. So you say, for instance, a cute boy, it is a description, but then you can say, make the boy cute, it is an instruction. So you have both options. So it's up to you to play a little bit how to get the best results. But it's a very interesting model. And you can get an idea what we're going to do that you get the image. Okay, then select this control net and then say, make it ping. And that's all. And that will keep the same composition. So this is control net but let's work first let's try to force the image using let's say a few filters so we go here and uh, i like to use this one let me use this one def uh pixel perfect okay i like to always select to give the same proportion as your image and this is optional you need it to do it if the image is the same, the image is different, yeah. But I like to do it because when you put it there, see here that you already have, the, you have this option, preprocess, right? It will show you what it's going to compute. So this is your filter. This is your e reference image that you are going to, to use to control uh, here, what is happening here. So as you see, you have more control with this. So now you have another reference. Want to point out that there are different methods also, you need to load you know, your mobile. And I'm going to do everything with Stable Diffusion 1.5, but you also have it for Stable Diffusion X, uh, XL, SDXL. So you need to, to go and fish for those models. You have everything. So honestly, SDXL is a little bit trickier to make it work, but it works. Okay, so let's do this one and then you have these actions that later we're going to talk about but they're very intuitive so this is more or less way but this is the most this is the most interesting one so let's use this one just one unit control net unit and let's see what we get now so our instruction green hair we're also in painted okay let me force the in painted plus control net and look at that the result now is way much better okay so actually Ideally, we should let me fix the sit number there and let me disable to get the image. So this will be our baseline only in painting. It changed the style. Look at that. Very different styles here, but not very different, but here it changed. It's missing information. Also here a little bit different here. Okay. So in this case, it's no so different, but in some cases it can be completely different. Like the image I show you with the short hair. And if I enable this one, this is your reference image. You say click generate. Now with this reference, it will try not to adjust your image. So look at that now. There is an improvement in particular here, but it's still here. There are some differences. Okay. I'm not going to talk about why the color change and actually I don't know. So this is part of the model is doing that, but probably you can force that to get everything green, but how we can get even closer agreement here. So we can enable another control net unit. So enable here, 
This is not compulsory in this case, where I put it just to show you the preview. And you can play with all these models. There are many of them. Then here in the reference, you can see what they're doing. I strongly recommend it to see what they do. But in this case, the canny, I think, will be a good one. So look at that the canny is computing this. So let me use canny and let me point out that look at the canny is getting these lines, but it's not getting so much information here. So like here also, we're going to get some difference. But let's see what happens now with the canny filter. So clearly it's going to improve these regions here, some regions here, here, also here, but it's not going to resolve very well here. Actually it got closer. Okay. Yeah. But still there are some differences. And well, the colors start to, to get different colors, but remember that is the same number. So we change to see it and likely will in different generations, we, we can get different results. But the thing here is that we need to get more details and that can be controlled here. So you can play around with these slice bars to get a feeling, but I know like if I reduce here, now you see that we have more details. Let me reduce also here. So basically adjusting this one, and this is a perfect one. So a lot of details that I can guide my image. So let me use this one and let's see what we have here. Okay. So our outcome and much better. Okay. So capturing better the shape there. So this is one way now to control, to get exactly the same composition. It is not perfect. It will get half this slight difference, but it's the one you can keep adding more and more. Have in mind that also always control your image because this can be very time consuming. So if you are using SDXL, for instance, computing this one, sometimes it's very expensive. Also depends how complex is your image. So be careful about that also. Well, no need to remind you that you need a GPU at least eight gigs to get this working. Like for my case, it's about 15, 20 seconds. You have less than that. It will way much time consuming. So now let me change this number here and let's see what happened with different seat numbers. So basically my instruction was green hair. Okay. So here also is your, you know, language model. So probably you can say, make it green or whatever. So try different options. So look at that change. So let's say like make it green. So basically here also, I'm just coming back to the instructions in the picks to picks models that they have different, you have a style, but also you have the, the instruction now. So it can give you very, very different outputs. Now you can say, make it green or a green hair. So now you have this. Okay. So feel free to play with that or pink hair. So pink hair. I think pink, pink color, it is, it will, it is, uh, always give good results. Sometimes you now using blue is very difficult to go. I know wow, the reason, but pink works very well as you see here, as you see here, it gives good results. Blue probably doesn't work very well because also you have in the, in the background, a lot of blue, so they have problems to get it working. So blue hair. So there are some colors that are easier to work. So others are more difficult. Also one thing that another question, or just to bring back that somebody asked, okay, what is, I want to give you now the, the extra colors, you no, know, the, the color palette. And, and then you have the H F F whatever. Remember this is a language model. It doesn't recognize that. So I'm working, training a model, giving you now my colors reference, but yeah, I'm training that one with let's say partial success or at least, or I think I need to train it better, more colors, but yeah, here by default, we're on the, the recognize, you know, the actual color, blue, green, white, whatever. So white hair also, I think it will do it very well. So let's see here that I'm having some strings of blue there, but generally speaking, we did what we wanted to do that we can the same composition of the hair. And now let me bring here just to show you that. Now look at that here, I apply in this method. So I would show you some another method. So look at that. This one is exactly the same composition. And look at that, we have different colors. So here, this was quite funny because here I say, use the rainbow colors. And it, it tried to add it because adding this one, you start to put it to say, okay, one segment will be, one part will be blue, green, whatever is tricky. So I put there my keyword rainbow colors here, make it red, white, 
Ah, uh, this is okay. This is oh, that's nice. This is funny because you are saying put the color of the Italian flag. So here you have green, white. There is no red, but yeah, it tried to do so different compositions and then pink as i mentioned it tends to be very strong so usually you get it there and this is a style transfer that later we're going to talk about that how to transfer styles things like that okay so that's what we wanted to show you the first technique that you have there so it is control net so now let's still let's keep using control net but now let's okay by the way let me use exactly the same but now here we're forcing to do the painting here so let me go image to image and we're not in painting but we enable this control net here so if i use it now without the painting it will be first the result is not going to be very good because i'm using in this case image to image is better to use a full model so I'm not using the right one. So look at what happens using the paint model. So I need to switch for an actual model. So let me use here realistic vision I like this model. So it's up to you to get the good model. So remember that you have CV, CV AI and just to remind you CV AI and you have here many models and this is your marketplace to, to look for models. So look at that now we white hair but also changing background and so on so it's a nice result but it changed a lot not only the hair but also changed here background so this was the task of the pain in pain it was forcing well only change here so the hair is forcing with the control net but the background is also changing okay so get a feeling how to control that so in this case the best way to control only hair it is in paint okay forcing as well in pain and adding your control net okay so now let me disable this and this okay let me get this color so white white also works very well and let's enable another uh control net by the way my personal experience i'm still investigating that but i think the order how you put it is not important but requires research but so far i get the same outcome now when i change order so but it might change it might not okay so the one i want to use now is this one is start p2p means pix to pix which is this one okay so read a little bit about this okay because there is a lot to understand how it does it work and i want to bring another model which is this one there is a full model called instruct pix to pix Okay, it's not control net, it's a full model of seven gigs. And this is what, what it can do. You take the image and then you get an instruction like this. So you can imagine that we're going to use that one as well and it will work, okay? So that in the video description, I'm going to give you the link. So in this case, pix to pix, there are many models. Okay, so you okay, you if by default when you select there you have it, but you can okay, this pix to pix you don't have it in SDXL. Maybe somebody already ported, but so far it's a stable diffusion 1.5. So let's say now white hair, okay? And be careful, pay attention that we don't have this. I disable this control net unit now. So when you see green means are only in use. So now you have a perfect agreement, okay? Because it's a pixel to pixel. So we say here, I know, uh, boom, 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 green hair. And again, bring back, I will bring back this, how we give the instruction. So now we're given a description. Probably also we can give an instru uh, a proper instruction. So you have green hair here. Let me say, make it a fire. Let's see what happens. So these are the kind of instru instructions that you can give and it will only add here. So kind of is taking the colors of fire. So we can say, make it a snow. And likely will be white or make it the England flat. So I will hope to have white and red, but this is tricky to control again. So you need to do many generations, but you will see when you do it some traces there. So let me do another generation. And there you go. 
wide and some red there is not the nicest but this is what you can do with pix to pix important i'm forcing here the painting on in the hair okay so let me say rainbow colors make it the rainbow color so this is the image i show you that so again you need to do many generations but you will see some traces here so actually there see here here and there so now if you go and to stress if you go image to image you are not in painting as you do the same you enable this control net unit but now it's going to change the whole composition okay so rainbow colors and actually also change the face i don't know why and this is what happens okay so this is importance of having this in painting there to just force to change there Together with control net, it will give you axial control. So this is a much nicer, nicer composition. And to stress, look at it here. I'm not forcing control net, and I'm getting exactly the same uh, shape of the color of the hair. Now the composition. Of course, also you can force control net if you want. And my advice, actually, any of these later, we're going to talk about this and this. These are a style transfer. I recommend, and even P2P, to use other control net units now like dev and canny or line r just to guide better the composition so i always do it it's my advice so this is it this is how it works this one like and it's up to you to pick up to put the instruction there and what i was talking about like i want to show you this this one this is a full model it is fantastic and it's this one that i mentioned by the way i was okay so use also with picks to picks uh you can try in painting and full model but it's better to use a, a full model and if i would recall i was using dream shaper okay make it rainbow colors and let me go here and let's see what happened with this model and sometimes give error so it's giving me an error there Let's see. Bam, 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 bam. Make it pink. So let's see what happens. So many times, automatic eleven eleven can be a little bit temperamental. So it's giving me problem there. So let's see if it works here. So let me reload. So sometimes the reload can help you. So let me go put here and, and you have instruct. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, okay, I know what was the problem. I left the control net uh, on, uh, on. So it was a conflict between pix to pix and control net. So be careful always about, well, be careful about that. So let's say make the hair white. So let's use this model and now it's working. So actually it worked very well. So look at how good is this one. So now this one doesn't require to select any control net or even in paint, you know, it's recogni recognizing the, the language and it's now it knows that, okay, this is the hair. I will make it white. It is also changing a little bit the colors. Okay. You can see there, but it's a good result still. So if I say make it green, now probably this will be a very strange because we'll add a lot of green all around so look at that it's changing here also okay i put the wrong prom make the hair green that will be better but still i think it will get some traces of green all over so actually see that we have more green here here but the hair is green so what we can do here is remember we can always force on in painting and let me add the painting here i already have all this stuff there the unit the control net unit is off so that was the one that was giving me problems i enabled the i i left enabled the pix to pix so it was conflicting with this one so look at that it is a perfect no need to control net okay i really like that one and look at that you can look for the results and it, you will see very crazy results like you take this image and make it a cyborg and look at that it will do this very cool results it's amazing that library it's a shame that it's still there is no no pix to pix library for xl 
or at least I haven't seen one, so probably there is one around. Okay, so we have this. So we have seen control net. So first in pain, standard in pain that it would change the composition. Then control net that it will force using the dev and also the line arrow can or whatever. And then the picks to picks in control net. And now also we saw this one picks to picks this full model that it works fantastic. So now you have there all the tricks to get you now to change just one part of the image. So now let me go the extra mile because I want to add this style transfer. Okay, so the style transfer or actually let me show you something before that. Let me add another control net. So let me be careful here that I don't want to use this one. Let me use Dream Shaper and I go control net enable and let me go back to this one. Pix to picks okay and make the hair green and let me use this one so using in painting it will force there so look at how different are the results so i think the other results were, were better and if you use it in image to image sometimes i think image to image it will change also like in the previous one it will add green all over so it's acting in the pixels now so in painting always very important uh also this picks to picks uh doesn't take any image so you have to this but it doesn't take any image and actually you can put an image but it, it will give you a strange results now you put the image on just to show you for instance there and we have this cyberpunk image there will be any style so let's see what we have if we add that so it will be a little bit crazy so yeah it's not very satisfactory so kind of is trying to put these colors there it's not helping a lot also that i'm forcing there with the keyboard making it green so let me erase that one and likely now i think i will get the cyberpunk kind of a style the beach okay this is not bad i like that one but completely change the hairstyle. Okay, so just to show you that, and now what I want to show you is this other that T, T21 and IP. So this stands text to image, image prompt, and there is also quad actor. So these are fantastic also. You have quad actor, you have this one. So this one will let you do this style transfer and force images. So things like that with control neck, you can get like line art candy, sketch stuff like that and then you give a keyword and then it will follow that okay very very amazing and this is super cool because this one you get any sketch you get any style and then using this this style you're going to get that so this is what what is called no style transfer and then you have the image prone that in my opinion this is the most powerful one this is a like i will the one i like to use it which by the way you have it also as the xl so if you want to do that with xl you have this one so these things like this you can do transfer different styles so this is super cool here this plus this and you get this so yeah, there is a lot to do as you, as you can to do as you can see with this stuff. So let's enable these libraries. Reminder again that not all of them are available in XDXL. So T21 is not, if I would recall, it's not available in XDXL IP adapter. Yes, actually, let me see. Ah, yeah, you have T21 XDXL. So. But in any case, so be careful about that, that you need to have the right model. So let's use this one, T2 adapter. And this one will ask you for a reference image. So let's go here and we need to give that reference image will be the style. So recall this stuff now here that we're doing. You need to give any style. So let's give an style here and let me give you this one. It's super cool. So if I add this style, so now it will follow this style. You have the preprocessor, so be careful that in this case for the T2IA, it is click vision. You need to select also the right one here. And later we talk about this. And now that I have this uh, also, you need to use the right library. So be careful if you select it in painting because it's going to give you something, but it's not very nice. 
So here it doesn't require any prone. So this is the idea that this one is it will automatically prone the image, but also you can help it if you, you give an extra prone. Always check in the prone now because sometimes you get some errors or some warning. So let's see. Okay, so no problem. Everything is working okay. So there you go. We have this one and using this one together with some painting. So probably it's not the best choice. So let me go now image to image. So in painting, I was forced into to that style and now image to image. It is giving me this result. Okay. But as I mentioned that you need to guide this with something. So in painting it worked because it was a guy with in paint, but it wasn't that good. Here, we need to enable another unit. So this, this tree in paint, T2 adapter, uh, no, just, just this, these two, they need to be guy with another unit of control net. Instead, with a straight stroke P2P, it's not necessary, but it is recommended. So now let's enable some other units. So first, let me go and usually this is a very good one. I'm not going to, to put the preview or you know, what I'm going to have. So previously I did it just to show you. So automatically it is computed here. It's computer and you're going to see it there. So let's see what happens. And there you go. So super cool result. So this is your death mat using this style and now transfer this style there. Fantastic. I really like this. And now as you can imagine, as we did previously, we can have even more control by enabling another unit. So let me add the, actually, I think in this one, uh, soft edge. So let me add the preview because I don't recall, but I think soft edge give big, very nice outline. So actually, yeah, this is a nice outline. Let me see this one. I don't recall mm, no. this one. Mm. So I like this one, but canny is also okay. So let me use the soft edge and there are different options by the way. So it's up to you to play around. So I will keep this one. I like that one and let me go and let's see what happens now. Now we have, as we have more information, likely it will be a better composition. Let's wait for our result. Let me check here. Okay. Nothing wrong. Everything working perfect. And there you go. I suspected better result. Look at better resolution here. The hair wavy there here. It's losing a lot of the background, but actually, yeah, you have the mountains and everything kind of a moon there, like in the reference image that you have there, the, the moon. So kind of capturing the main features. So this is what happens. Okay, this is your style transfer. As you see, it's very easy to use. And uh, remember, use it in conjunction to, to different units. So at, at least I'd like to put two. You can put more if you want. And just to point out that if you go into settings, uh, you should have here control net. And I think here you have default three, but if you want to add more, increase the number there. And let me go back here and I want it, what I wanted to do here. Let me fix this number. So let me use this as a reference just to show you now the, the, uh, the effect of these controls here. So as you can expect, this one is the influence of this control net. So each one of these will have, uh, this control for different controls. So now I'm controlling the wrong one. So I want to control this one actually, uh, uh, leveling one, one is the default and I want to control this one. So if you reduce the influence, you put zero kind of will be, it will be off. And also you can help the prom with the, with a text there. So feel free to, to do that. So it is off. It changes a little bit the style but it's not a strong influence. Now, if you keep increasing, so as you put it to two will be the maximum. So let's see what happens with, with the maximum. So this is up to you to play now, according to what style or what final product do you want? So this will be probably a crazy image. I suspect it very crazy image. So usually I like to go here, zero point, 
75, 0 0.8. So it's not too heavy in this style, but if you want a heavier style, yeah, you increase it. So one is okay value, but then it can be too much and it's better to, to reduce it a little bit. So the, see here that this is much better. Okay, I really like this one. I want to remind you also, denoising it is important so this is the fantasy that you add in your composition okay so we fix this seed if you put here one it's going to add new features so it will be farther away from your original image but maybe those new details can uh enrich this composition this image so let's say so yeah i already can see here that changed a lot so the dress change it looks better but it changes the, the dress so you can see the influence here so as you reduce it it is the closer that would be to this image too low values probably can give you very bad uh results so be careful about that so probably 0 05 0 07 0 08 are, are okay so see here that now it stick more to the original image so something about 0 05 let's start test zero five. I think at zero five, you start to yeah, to have more influence of this, this control net unit. And there you go. So it's just about right. So this really, is really cool. I really like this, this one. The default value is 0 0.75. I think that is the default or zero seven. It is also okay. So that will be up to you to play with that value. So you can hear, hopefully you're getting an, an idea how things work, but still we have two more parameters to control. So and there you see that it's much, much stronger the, the change. So now that we saw the influence of this control weight, also the, the noise that is very important. The noise is very important. We have this one. These two, it will control you no know, when or how how long it is used. You no, know, this this filter. Okay, so here you go from zero to one means that one hundred percent of your steps, kind of these steps, you are going to apply this 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 modif this modifier this filter. But let's say that I want to say here like I want to apply this just fifty percent. And this is very important because how you set it, you can have very different compositions. So just 50% of, of the steps at the beginning use this one. So you are going to have a strong influence of this in your image because you are using that at the beginning. So let's do it and let's see what happens here. Okay, so this is our output and Pretty, pretty much very similar to the to the previous one, but you see the strong influence of this image. But now if I go like this, and now I'm telling the beginning, more weight to this, and then at the end add more weight to the other. And we should have something closer and I start closer to this one. So let's see our outcome here. Unexpected, closer to this one with a few brushes of the other style. So it's up to you how to control that. So you should choose, and also you can do stuff like this. So many times I prefer to add this style at the end. I would prefer to control this one, add that style at the end. Probably I don't go like this. I can go 0 0.3, so have more. So I want to keep many of the features of this one. And then after 30% of your steps, start to introduce these, these features. And there you go. So quite cool. So I didn't lose much of my details. And then I added the other features. And this is fantastic. I have to say, this is I love this, this style transfer. And this is it. So it works pretty much the same with IP adapter. It's the same concept, different training models. As I say, IP adapter, uh, it works better in my experience. So let me put it here using the same. Here also you have different options. As I mentioned, you have the SDXL here and different options. This is an IP adapter also for faces, stuff like that that I know. 
don't want to work there. I don't work much with that. And always remember to choose the, the right one. So let's use the IP adapter. Pretty much the same options. And, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we have our outcome here, a uh, reminder, always look at the terminal here because sometimes you can have some strange errors or some warnings or probably will start to download something. So be aware of that. So look at different, different composition. Probably the result of the other one was better in this case, but I, I like more this one, the IP, the IP adapter. And well, I think we have covered a lot. And what I want to mention now that a reminder also was in pain. Now, if I enable this one, I'm going to get something crazy because everything that I have enabled here, it will be only applied to the hair. So if I go here, likely the result is not going to be very good because first I need to use an in pain model, but sometimes the standard model works, but I think in this case it's not going to neither neither of the models are going to work. But actually, yeah. So see that we're transferring the style, the colors to the hair. So actually, but it is the Dream Shaper model that helps a lot. That there is a very good model, the Dream Shaper. So actually, this Dream Shaper and realistic vision, they are very good models. Uh, do not use it pix to pix also with this because it's going to give you an error. So let me use realistic vision. That is also very good. Okay, there you go. So nice result. By the way, remember that I fixed my seat number. So this is the, the difference that you can get. And finally, let's do the full style transfer to the whole image so to do it to the full image i don't want to use this okay we already did it but now i want to use the cyberpunk style i really like this one uh remember you all you need to for this two other like dev and so soft edge or canny okay i strongly recommend it at least to use one better to use too. So basically we're going to transfer this and also feel free to play with all these different control unit types. So here you have a description. So there is a lot you can do. So let me use this one to transfer the cyberpunk style to our image. And there you go, our cyberpunk style. So quite cool. So the resolution, but then you can use an scaling, but it's very nice. Now it's, I'll make it here metallic, a tattoo here, the hair color, the dress style and so on. So let's try now, for instance, let's choose now the T21 adapter. Let's see the difference between these two. Okay, so it's not very satisfactory the result with this one. Maybe can be the case that it's not the library is not helping a lot. So let's see what happens with Dream Shaper or let me see if there is something there. No, everything seems okay. You have all the control units and so on, color white. So let's see what happens. So yeah. Okay, so in this case, it's not working fine. This one, I cannot say why. Let me go. Okay, so be careful, T2 adapter. And I was in the wrong one. So here is the style, it's this one. And I should use click vision. So be careful also your model. And now it should be working. So let me go back to realistic vision. Okay, so always be careful your models and preprocessors and so on. Okay, so now it should, should work, hopefully, like cross fingers. Okay, there you go. Now we have our new image. Okay, so it is less now the influence. Now this one have a, a less, influ less influence. You can play also with your control way. So let me increase to 1.5. So now it should be uh, much stronger. So I would see way much, much features of this image there. So interesting here also, I changed you now the proportion. So if I leave this one, when I do the style transfer, it will kind of add a hand. So 
difficult to control. So this is what we have now. So it's too much, I guess. So let me go back to one. Mm, since about right, about right, that value one. Okay, perfect. So we have now this style. It's taking all the brushes of pink, of electric pink better. Uh, very cool. So now also you can play as well as the auction is start. Okay, here I already have it. So let me put it full model. Let me go crazy bananas there. Okay, this is very cool. I like I like that. And now let me see IP adapter. Let's see because the IP adapter in this case worked better. It added you no know, attack to also in the face and makes you no know, the hair also a little bit more closer to to this cyberpunk style and also well to stress do not forget to add your control net filters so see that quite cool this is much better now you have tattoos details the hair and so on uh, at this point well you have this image and if you want you can do and add a uh, Ox scaling now uh, the resolution is not the best, but you can do your scaling. So yeah, there you go. You have all the options to control the hair without changing the composition. And honestly, I recommend you to use this. This one is very powerful or P2P. Then also we play with control net, so you can do the same with control net and then style change which is fantastic. And at this point, also I invite you to play with control net. There is a lot you can do here. So there are crazy scenes. So we already show a video how to do that. The other thing that I want to mention is also in painting. So depending on your goal, sometimes you want to force in painting. So let me go here and force in painting. You know, use the same. So it will transfer just that style. It will transfer to the impainted region. Sometimes it will be suitable. Sometimes it's not going to get very good results. So see here that you keep everything and the hair became a crazy hair. It's not probably it's not the best result because remember in painting, it's recommended to use in painted model, but not always you can, it will give you perfect or let's say acceptable results. So let's see what happens now with it and painted model okay so yeah you have it there well too artificial here well yeah you can get you get the idea of the influence of the models and selections and so on so at this point go and fish for your models be ready to have a lot of space in your hard drive so here i have many models so you can get an idea that it's taking a lot of space but luckily i have a space so yeah, this is all. I hope I'm not going back to this hair. So I think I cover everything. So do not ask anything about this. The hair, you have all the guidelines here. So thank you for your attention. Do not forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye.